Yo, yo, Happy Kingdom, AP, we're going to be chopping game about understanding the masculine frame and getting in touch with your feminine side. So y'all stay tuned. Check in. notification on your end. All right, one minute, y'all. Check in. Let's see. Yeah. All right. So, in case y'all don't know, we on we live on both both channels. So y'all make sure you make sure you uh <laughs> make sure no, because I went to your chat. Ain't nobody came to your chat yet. Yes, you. I'm not speaking though. Okay. No, I just wanted to make sure you was even like live. You know what I'm saying? Effectively, so what up, Trav? Christian Soto, Tisha, good to see you. Y'all, my echoing. How we sound, y'all? Like robots. You straight over here. What's up, Better Lake, bro? How you doing? Kasani, Kasani what up? Was good. Here, how we sound? You trying some new stuff? Okay, here we'll check in, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a mute my mic, and then we'll see how that goes. Hold on, we. Yeah, yeah. People, let us know. Let us know what's going on with our voices. She said it's good. She's uh, okay. we good on your end. What about my end? Is we good on my end? Okay, cool. So, well, we good. Then. I, I still hear it a little bit, but maybe it'll go away. As long as they good, I'm good. I'm gonna just try to move. I'm gonna just try to mute when you talk. So, what's going on, brother?
Okay, because I muted it. I was about to say, can y'all hear? I'm, I'm muted. So we missed y'all missed that part. I just said it's okay. <laughs> Shannon did say it sounded a little echoed on my side, but it's in text. So it may go away. It was going away uh, when we did our sound check earlier. Mm -hmm. If it get real bad, y'all just let me know. Yeah, let us know. Trying to, we're trying to, uh, you know, figure this out. You know what I mean? Now they said no a sound on my end, but it's a little delayed, so I think they can hear me now. Y'all can hear me now, right? And I'm muted on your side. No, we both. All right, well, look. Let's get, Let's in, get on in on this topic, topic man. man. If they say we, we sound like robots or something, we'll deal with that. Oh, uh, good, man. That, that, that was, was a good song, song choice, though, the, uh, the intro, intro, man. So, especially with the copy, man. Matter, matter of fact, no lie, at the barbershop today, they was talking about Prince, and uh, uh, it's, it's funny that you ch chose him this evening. Let me see something. How about now? Hey, yo, yo, yo. Uh, the echo gone with me. Okay, she says it's fine. Yeah, it's all the way good. That's what, whatever you did, that's what we know to do next time. So keep that in mind. Feel me? I'm good on both sides. All right, cool. So, yeah, and on your side, can Matt, what you say? Can masculinity what? Read the whole thing? On your know side? <laughs> Hold on, let me look. Can, mascul can masculinity understand femininity? Okay. And if you understand the question, can a man walking in his masculinity, can he even interpret a woman's feminine side? Or can he be in touch with a feminine side? Can he understand what that even means? Is kind of the direction I was going with that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say, I hear, I hear the term a lot. And I don't understand it. So I want you to help me understand it. I think if you're not doing that, then you're missing out on a, a, a major part of the game and a major connection that you can have with your woman. That's what I think. Hey, lace me up right now. Okay. It's the same way. It's the same way women connect with their girlfriends. So no, you're not feminine. You're not being a girlfriend. But if you understand like how women feel and shit from how from a woman's perspective, then you can win. And I and I and I'm surprised that you say that it can't happen because you wrote a book from a woman's perspective. So that, how does that even work? You you can understand a woman's perspective. So how was it that you that you feel like you shouldn't do that when you wrote a whole book? From a woman's perspective, so that would tell me that you know somewhat how they feel and what they react to. So un unpack that for me. That's a good point. Um, and and the particular story in the book that you're speaking on, what I did was I took a woman's behavior that I've witnessed for my years of experience dealing with women, and then I walked what I would want a woman to be thinking as she's doing the thing she was doing. You get what I'm saying? So I, but I always been like that, even when I was, uh, you know, if I'm sleeping with my woman or something, I'm in my brain trying to talk to her body. You get what I'm saying? And in my mind, her body is talking back to me. So when I wrote that particular story from a woman perspective, I was answering back to me, what I be expecting my woman to be thinking and feeling while we doing what we doing. You get what I'm saying? So I didn't know if I was correct or not. I didn't know if I was going to nail it on the head or not. I didn't know if that's how women think or not. That's my arrogant ass trying to tell, tell myself what a woman is feeling and dealing with in her mind as I'm sleeping with her. So, so that's how I approached it. Now, according to my feedback from that book and that story, I did a pretty damn good job of it. Well, I, read some of it. Read some of it? Yeah. 
I will eventually. I don't have it. I don't have it near me, honestly. But I, I, I you should. Put it on your phone, bro. You can pull it up. Uh, no, I don't. You well, you know what? Hold on. Phone? You, you, you correct. I, 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 for, I forgot. It is under Doc. I know. <clears throat> it is under Google Docs. But you know, I, I don't really want to go on it. Get, get uh, y'all want it? Y'all want it? Y'all want it? Let's ask the chat. Y'all want him to read an excerpt out of his book? Press a one in the chat if y'all want him to read an excerpt. I'll even read an excerpt out of one of my books. Boom. So now we even. So I'm ready to take one for the team. So what you gonna do? I I mean, listen. I'm gonna listen to them, man. I, I'm gonna give my subscribers what they want if that's what they want. Let's see what they say. I'm looking at my end. They, they my just problem is I can't get through it without blessing, dog. I could talk that. I could talk that stuff on paper. But when you got to read it back, because I had to read it back a few times, it's a little, I have to get in touch with my feminine side. <laughs> I'll wait and see what they say. Uh, Y'all slow on the draw. Let me see. Let me make sure I even got that money. Yeah, I got that money. What y'all say in the chat? I'm thinking like I ain't even got it. They saying one over here, bro. They saying one. He said no judgment, bro. Because <laughs> <laughs> they want they, they want to see me make a fool out my damn stuff. They saying yeah. Everybody saying yeah, bro. They want to hear it. I'm just gonna have to get ra go random then. How you want to, how you want to buy it if you don't even give them a sample? I mean, you're right. You're definitely right. And I'm seeing the ones now. Yeah, Nelly Nell, what's up? We 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 waiting for him. He embarrassed to read his book because it's about female nature. You go ahead and teach these brothers this game. Hey, but this this the, this the question, right? Should I read the story that I wrote? From a woman's perspective. Yep. Or some of it, I should say. Yep. Hold on, let me get to that one. Because that because we want to see if you get in touch like that. Like you say you ain't. Well, we gonna All right, see. You're right. You're right. We're about to see. All right, y'all ladies, y'all gotta tell me if I if I'm I'm hitting a mark or not, if if a woman could think like this, or am I just tripping? And, and fellas. No homo. I'm going to start with that. All right, y'all ready? Here we go. Uh, th this is a, uh, the beginning of my third short story, Midnight Rider. It says, uh, deep into a passionate dream, an intense, feel an intense feeling woke me from my sleep. My body on fire. Not from the temperature of the room, but from the eternal heat in my body. The subtle light of the moon illuminated my man's back. Pause. <laughs> Hold on, man. I better reread it. I can't, this shit sound gay to me. Here we go. Deep into a passionate dream, an intense feeling woke me from my sleep. My body on fire. Not from the temperature of the room, but from the internal heat in my body. The subtle light of the moon illuminated my man's back. That was turned towards me. It was my natural impulse to cuddle close to him and wrap my arm around him. Oh my God, he smells so good, I thought to myself. Then I turned on my back. The alarm clock read 12.26 a.m. We both had to be up for work at four, but I was wide awake. The fire in my body was hot, too hot for me to go back to sleep. A good woman would let, me, uh, a good woman would let him sleep, I thought but a better woman will wake him up with a surprise. My pussy was moist. <laughs> the sound of the fan purring and the light of the moon set the mood. I wrapped my arm around him again, this time using my stomach to guide my, using his stomach to guide my hand down towards his dick. I just rubbed it, <laughs> I just rubbed it with my fingertips slowly. I pressed my new breast against his back and inched it in closer. Look, I can't read this shit without feeling gay as a bitch. <laughs> hey, y'all, just for the record, this is the only 
story what? in a book that was written from a woman's perspective. The rest was either- This is fire content, bro. You true. Hey, bro, I hear you, but I'm looking at I'm looking at words that I got to get to, and I'm thinking like, oh man, I can't have this on record. These are these are sound bites. <laughs> so so you want me to go? Or are you good? What I mean, y'all think? Hey, you you can go. I mean, some of these women read it already, and I appreciate everybody who's been supporting it, man. And I've been getting nothing but good feedback. But again, just based off of what I read, if y'all, if I even did a good enough job. Of Ladies, tell me whether or not that sound like the thoughts of a woman in a situation like that. If I did a good enough job reading. Mm -hmm. No, for real. This is that book. was the point. Go ahead. <clears throat> no, so my, this my book. No, this is his book. We author gang. We both got books. You see that? So this is his book. And y'all want me to what, what book y'all want me to read? The next game, I don't help with confusion, king, or conversation. I'll read something from there. Y'all tell me what book y'all want me to peel open. Just so y'all cheap and y'all don't want to buy it, you can just get a preview right now. He said it reminds him of Zane. I I'm telling you. See, so now what you got to say? You talking about. Hey, man. Talking, I, I, I hear. I, 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 because I, how you going to say about how to, you can't be in touch with your feminine side, but then you wrote a whole book from a female perspective. I did, The whole book ain't from a female perspective. No, one, of it is. one story. It's, it's from a female perspective. But why would you even think to do that if you wasn't in, ta in tune with it? I was actually trying to test my writing ability. And again, I told you, I was using what I expect the woman in my bed to be thinking. You feel me? The, the movements and actions of my wife should be those based off of her thoughts, based off of her mm -hmm. Feelings, you know what I'm saying? It's it's game, nigga. That's what that's what it is. It's and game. What, and what and what and what's it based on? It's based on experience, right? Correct. Okay. Correct. But so th this experience these things. What'd you pick up on? How if you're picking up on, on, on how a woman reacts, but you don't how you're not in tune with them then? Okay, I hear you. But I'm guessing until I got the feedback of the women, like she said, yeah, it sounds like the uh it sounds like the thoughts of a woman. And she said he better than Zane. Thank you, Tisha. Yeah. Give him one more, give him one more sample, bro, of, of, a, of another one. <laughs> no, hey, no, no. hey, hey, Dre like, yo. Seriously. No, pause, from, a, bro, from pause, one pause. that's not with the female perspective. You said what? One that ain't from the female, one from you. And see that, see, that's what I'm saying. I could do that all day. All right, we'll do it. Do it. I'm I, I'm gonna get it. I'm I ain't gonna I'm I'm not gonna uh scam you. I ain't tripping, bro. I wrote it because I and I'm proud of it, but let me just get into it. Hold on. Let me go grab one. Hold on. Yeah, but again, uh, and for those that's listening, when you when you uh a guy like me, let's say, I really do be trying to read people's energy, their mind, their body, and all that. But when people say in touch with your feminine side, I don't understand what that means. And that's what we're gonna get into eventually. But for me to write a story based on what I think a woman would feel or, or want, it's no different than me kicking game to a chick or talking to a chick. I'm automatically saying things and, and talking in a manner that I expect a woman to enjoy. So I kind of wrote with the same man, mindset. You know? so hold on. Let me get to uh, something from a dude. Here, you want me to go first? Yeah, you, you can. can. I, right, I found me. what I'm going to go with, but you can go ahead and then we can try it off. All right, boom. Let's see. All right, let me give y'all something real quick. Uh, shit. Let me see. I'm trying to find the shortest one. All right, look, let's see. Uh, 
People always look at a masculine as a hard and feminine as soft. There are a lot of pretty women who are beautiful and talented, but still have masculine energy. And this is masculine energy puts a man in his masculine where he just wants to unwind. A masculine woman never wants to be overpowered by a masculine man. Oh, she wants to be as even or even as equal to the man. This dynamic always causes pain during the long run. It's because a battle of the Titans, but no one really wins because you have a single man and a single woman. And then insanity happens. You start this journey over and over again, not learning from their mistakes. They had the ideology that take me as I am vibe which has only led to being independent and alone. Sad. If they change a few things and actually learn from their experiences, they can learn to take this as we are. They can learn to shift from male to female like we do. Let's unpack the true nature of a woman. The true sexual nature of a woman, how can you figure out the true nature of a woman? Is? I'll give you a hint. To know women understand other women. To, to know a woman, uh, uh, to know women, understand women more than, no woman understands women more than another woman. Women may not know this themselves. Let's just sit back and think for a bit. Have you ever watched Triple X lesbian pornography before? I know you've been in one and I know that you've watched, but the point is that you have never seen arousal from a woman more intense from another woman. If you pay attention and watch the arousal and how excited a woman gets when a woman's touching her and not a man, you will notice that there's a different level of attraction, different level of sexual desires. What do you think this is? This is real as it gets here. All right. What's up? Y'all like that? Fire sign in the chat or what? That's one of what we're talking about. What y'all think? I have read that Ishmael, but that ain't where I got it from. I got it from my life. Let's see what y'all say. Not true, I arouse women. You, you respond to something that I didn't even say, player. It don't even match what I said. All right, see? Author gang. So come on, AP, give us a dose. Hold on, I read more, but AP got to go. I'll read another book. Come on, AP, let's do it. Just trying to grab, grab the right one, bro. These get a yeah. little... I'm trying not to give up too much of the much of the juicy shit bro hey hey we reading our books mia let me get let me get another one boom let me get another one i'm listening here we go we having a versus battle boy yeah what channel you know? What channel you know when two cats can have versus battles with their books? You see, y'all ain't got no super chat this whole time. Y'all ain't y'all ain't they ain't hit the cash app nothing this whole time. Y'all been getting this fire preview fireball game. Come on, man. <laughs> y'all see y'all serious right now? This the next part. All right, hold on. Here we go, man. I, see, this is the part. This is a good story, but it take a while to get cracking. But I'm gonna just start start from this how a man will write from his perspective. And this this is what most of the stories are written like. It's called birthday surprise. <clears throat> it says the text read, "I'm in I'm in room 306, Poppy. I can't wait. I have a surprise for you. I was still at work, and it was my birthday." The plan was to go home, shower, and pack a bag for the weekend. My lady wanted to do something special for me. I told her 7 p.m., but I wasn't in a rush. The hotel was only 20 minutes away. I figured we would be eating bad all weekend, so I wanted to knock out a quick workout. 50 burpees, 100 push-ups, 50 pull-ups, and some dumbbell curls. I was dripping wet after that. 
I like working out at the house <laughs> so I could be on my drive. Hey, man, hold on, dog. Let me get to some player shit. This shit, it sounds good when I know a female reading it. This shit sounds fucking spicy when I'm trying to read this shit. All right, here we go. <laughs> and the, the females know what I'm talking about that read this shit. <clears throat> Damn, bro. All right, here we go. Look, I'm going to set up the story, but I ain't going to read it all. It's my birthday. My chick want to do something special for me. She got a surprise for me. I go to the hotel. I meet her there. But when I get in there, I see her homegirl was in the room. I'm thinking her homegirl own one. I think they're setting up a threesome for me for a surprise. But then, obviously, I was wrong, so my chick get mad at me, and the, the second chick goes to leave, but she comes back because she left her phone. So that's where this story pick up. Okay, when Lynn came back- I'm about to say, because I read the book, that don't sound oh, that's right. That's right. That's <laughs> right. Because when, when I came into the hotel, my chick was there, but her homegirl was sitting on the bed, and they were smoking. But- as I got comfortable thinking, oh shit, I'm about to, get, it's about to go down. The, the friend get up to leave and me and my girl get into it because she seen how geeked I was about this pretend threesome. Read, hey, you read it. If I'm missing something, I know exactly what it yeah, is. Yeah, why are you giving them a summary, bro? You got the book right there. Bro, You're this shit about. long, this shit long as fuck. And no, again, read part. I can't read the soft shit. I'm going to read this part though. All right. All right, look. Now this she need to give y'all a summary of it. You know, you can't bro, give a summary. You're supposed to read it. You're gonna give bro, a summary. Listen, this is meant, this was written. And, hold on. Hey y'all, this is a good, this is a good example, right? This book was meant to be read by women. So for me to read it or even speak it, it it go it, a man got to be in touch with his feminine side, <laughs> which I'm not. Okay, um, so I, I I struggle through it. You know what I mean? It's easy to write when I know it's gonna game a chick or get a chick moist, but I'm not trying to get moist. I'm not trying to write for no niggas. You know what I'm saying? So that's the problem I'm having right now. But I got you though. Hold on. I'm just going to find this is classic content. It, to you got damn right it's classic because they swerve y'all. Don't let them swerve you. That's what he's trying to do. I'll hey. just down black pedal it all the way back. Hey, you have you have no idea what the streets are saying right now about AP. But I'm I'm gonna take the L. Hold on, I'm gonna take the L, right? But listen, y'all ready? <clears throat> it's a when Lynn came back in to grab her phone, my girl cut her off at the door. She grabbed her by the back of her head and started to kiss her not knowing how lynn will react i sat there in anticipation to my shock lynn hesitated for just a second and then gave in to what was happening it went from a startled kiss to a passionate makeout session i was still in shock so i just decided to sit there and see where this would go my lady started to undress her taking off her pants and then leaving her top on I have seen Lynn in some revealing clothes before, but it's not, nothing like seeing her tight, firm ass divided by her thong. My girl pushes her to the bed, and now she's literally right next to me. I'm sitting next to the both of them with my back against the headboard and Lynn's head right even with my thighs. I kept my hands to myself and watched my girl lick and suck on her pussy. Lynn's arms were over her head and her eyes closed. I watched as she twirled her hips on my girl's tongue. At this point, my drink was almost gone and my dick was harder than commitment. <laughs> this was time for me to get in the action. I wanted to give my girl my attention first, still unsure if she is doing this for me or for her, especially after her reaction before Lynn came back. I got up and stood behind my girl. She was bent over and her knees at the edge of the bed, 
poking her ass out while she ate Lynn's tight Asian pussy. I unsnapped her lingerie, exposing her pussy. I could already see how wet she had gotten. A spider web of pussy juice covered her lips. I pulled my jogging pants down just enough to get my dick out. Then I rubbed the head of my dick on her pussy before sliding it in. She was so hot and wet that her pussy gave no gave me no resistance. I started to go in and out of her slowly, but not too slow. I just wanted her to feel every inch and, and the weight of it pressing against her vaginal walls. At this point, I was standing behind her, stroking her juicy wet pussy while staring at Lynn right in the eyes. Fire sign in the chat or what? But as you can see, look, look, Jizzy Bell says, where can I read this? I told you. Listen, the book is fire. I know this, but I can't read this shit, man. It makes me blush. You know what I'm saying? Because, because, okay, you got to realize it, it's almost like a, like a, a somebody who can sing real good, but then they get a little stage fright. Now, this is something new to me. Writing that's, in this that's way is new. You out of it. That was the point of it. See? Game, I mean, that's, that's game right there. See? Now that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. But let's do it. Let's say the setting was different. Let's say I'm in a room full of chicks. I could have read this shit with no problem. But knowing that it's niggas there, dog, with the with the look at dude. <laughs> That's yeah. where my head at, though. I'm thinking about my sons behind me, like, oh, he wild. That's why hey, you got hey, hey, Joe, Joe, hey, Joe Blast, look, Joe Blast, like that uh, little joke in there. My dick was harder than commitment. So y'all know how hard that was. Mm -hmm. All right, man. You, you got all fire signs. So they say they want some finesse game. Y'all want finesse game? Put finesse game in the chat. I'm going to give y'all some finesse game. Hey, I appreciate I appreciate the women on my side for not killing me too bad. Thank you, ladies, for not got me got me feeling real fucked up. Look, no no micro pen is coming at me. Who? Ain't nobody ain't nobody gay over here. No micro penis. Hey, but uh, again. Those that had purchased the book, though, no, y'all will be excited. Y'all will be happy. I only the only bad reviews I get is that there's a few editing editing issues, um, and I'm gonna take the blame for it. You know, I didn't I didn't I didn't go over anything that was done. I thought they did a good job without me really looking too hard. All no right. micro penis, uh, I'm just bullshitting. Okay, good. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to do this. This one for next game. All right, go ahead. All right. <clears throat> All right, this is May 5th chapter. It's called feeding, excuse me, it's called cooking, not feeding, right? <clears throat> the next gym is pretty simple, and it won't take me long to unpack this. I've actually touched on this on a few occasions, and now I'm just going to really say why it is important. <clears throat> it's simple, cook for your man. Cook for your man as a way of serving and showing that you appreciate him, and he will appreciate that. But like I said, stop cooking to serve his hunger. Cook to satisfy his need to be served. There's a fine line in the, <clears throat> there's a fine line in that right there. Also, cook different dishes often. If he enjoys pizza and lasagna, try different things out of the box. Fellas, give me a fire sign in the chat if y'all agree with what I'm saying. And ladies, I'm putting y'all on game. Look at, look at it as your job to put him on new trends and new things. Let's say, for instance, he has never had seafood before. Try taking him to the sushi house so that he can see how they make the sushi. Eat with chopsticks, different things you expose him to. So when it comes to food, the things that he likes that you put him on to, you is who he will connect to that memory. We all can remember the first time we went to Fleming Steakhouse or whatever top tier Mr. Child's restaurant that you've been to. <clears throat> you can even have a night where you plan Mr. Child's at home. It's easy as a Google search. You can look up your favorite recipes and your favorite restaurants and have it in the comfort of your home. It can be as small as a Big Mac from Burger King or Dragon Noodles from Fang Long. 
Five star at the home, baby. A man will love this and he'll love the effort that you put and the taste because you've seen it, seasoned it to perfection. You learn how to be submissive and to service your man. He's going to love you for it. One of the main keys is to do this randomly. It's the same effect as you getting roses on Valentine's Day. Yes, when your man gives them to you, it's awesome. Love them, hug them, and you say thank you. They're so beautiful. You take a picture and you post it on Facebook and Instagram. Let me tell you, it's much more effective for him just giving you those roses just because. You've been working hard all week. And the feeling of coming home and he has that gift card on the, the table. The gift card says message for two at 8 p.m. He took the initiative to reward you for rewarding him. Like I said previously, when you cook for him, make it pretty and make sure you serve it to him. And like I also said, every time you cook for your man, it's not an occasion or family circle dinner. Just because is key. If it's just because the two of you, it's not always time for talk. The reason why man made up the title man cave is because from time to time, some men like to be left alone. It's not that they don't like you, they just need time to reflect and do their own thing. When they finish doing their own thing, they'll come back to you, just like a dog does. When you let him off the leash, they'll wonder where around, they'll wander around a little bit, and they'll be back to where they feel the love, loyalty, trust, submissiveness, and of course, that hot meal that, that, that you're providing. Cook for your man, put the, put the effort in, make it pretty, just like the food you like to eat. There you go. How was that? Hey, women, women need, need to learn. learn. Women, women need, need to learn, learn that man. for real, for real. Versus, boy. <laughs> you a fool, dog. Hey, hey, you prepare. Your ass is at, at home rehearsing. Then you put me on spot. I ain't got to rehearse, fam. I, I live and breathe this. I ain't rehearse shit. I just picked up the fire books. I asked how I rehearse it when I asked them which ones they wanted to do. So how hey, can bro. I that. I didn't know which one they picked. They could have picked the other book. That's true. That's they went, true. Go get these books. I just got fire game, AP. That's all. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, I didn't rehearse it. Is we all is we is we still going or are we gonna move on? That was it. Y'all want some ask them. The good thing about me, I only read a small portion of two different stories but as i'm scrolling through this shit i'm like but for my book not to be super thick what is it it's a lot of content what is it, what is it again say that again the name of the book Triple dirty what? dirty minds dirty. dirty dirty minds i'm gonna put that i'm gonna put the link in my comments <clears throat> but either way it go it, it, and no lie it's been selling good i haven't even mentioned it but thank you all for uh supporting it a lot of people have been supporting and I've been getting real good feedback. I finally got some hard copies. I've been selling those. So, you know, it, you know, again, it's, it's just, it's just motivating me to do it again and do it better. You know they what I'm saying? On my end, bro. Cause these niggas having a field day with me, man. I'm telling they're you. Not, they're not clowning you at all, bro. I, promise. Man, I don't know. I'm you would see me, you would see me laughing at the comments and shit. I'm trying, <laughs> the, I'm trying to put the damn look in the book because they asking for it. That's what's bro, happening. I, I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. I'm clowning me because if because you gotta realize if this is somebody else, I'd be joking like a motherfucker in my head. But I, I ain't like that. I'm finna I'm finna get into something else real quick, real quick, guys. And this this is my last one. I might as well though. But I do I do want those who have not got it. Just take my word for it or take the other women in the comments word for it. It really is entertaining. It really is funny. And it really is sexy. It really is. It got a lot of different things that you would enjoy. You know what I'm saying? I just don't want to read forever. That's my problem. I mean, just stop when, it, when you feel I, like I got. I got you. I got you. All right. It's called uh, Lunch Break. And basically, That's why they single, bro. <laughs> like, said, what? the life king away says women don't do these things none of these things yeah that, and that's how come they single because i bet you ap's wife do some of those things and she married boom matter of fact she just did exactly what he said before the live she heated up our food that she cooked yesterday she cooked like it was thanksgiving yesterday we had uh mm -hmm. uh yam 
You see, bro? You see Life of Wedge? Jeez. That's the difference. That's we order, we you, order some you shrimp. And get your girl this book, it. food, so she can read it, and then she can know how to do the stuff. That's show I'm a, supposed to get I, this. I'm a Taurus, uh, Mimi. Shout out to uh, Kent for the super chat on my end. He said, love to Afi and the chat. Appreciate you, bro. All right, that's what's up. All right, here we go, y'all. This this called break time, and basically this uh this dude at work and his girl start texting him them 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 little cute little emojis, letting him know she wants something. So he told her to come on up to the job, basically. So I'm gonna start somewhere in the story. Here it go. My break time came and I was rushing out just so I wouldn't waste no time getting to that wet cat. As I was coming out, my talkative coworker. With his talking ass try to stop me hey jay he said not right now bro i'm on one you look near my car and said okay bro i see you i walked like the terminator to the car like i was a pussy eating robot sent back from the future for the for this very mission as i was approaching the car i couldn't see inside the tent was very dark i opened the passenger the passenger door only to see Bay in the back seat already with nothing on but a small tank top and some high socks. So imagine a firm body 26 year old Mexican woman with her hair pulled into a tight bun, dark framed glasses, perfect pearly white teeth, reddish lips and a tan line where her panties should be. Uh, sitting on the back with her legs fully open. Her pussy and I had a stare down. I didn't blink and her pussy didn't blink. They took her fingers and started to gently rub it for me. She had her tongue slightly showing while she bit it. I took off the top shirt and kept on. I took off my top shirt and kept on my beater. Uh, then I then I exited the car to join her in the back. I wasted no time. She slid down some and opened her legs wide. I leaned in and started to lick her clit real soft. I would lick, then kiss, lick, then kiss. I licked it soft and then I grabbed her clit with my lips and pulled it. Then I would lick it, then kiss, lick, then tug, lick, then kiss. I was teasing it. I licked from her pussy hole to, up to her clit, then back down to her pussy hole. I rubbed the top of her thighs and started to get into the rhythm. Slow and steady, up and down. Every time it seemed like she was close to coming, I backed off a little. Her clit had swelled. I had, I was taking my time with it. It was my absolute pleasure to lick her maple brown pussy. I massaged her tight. I massaged her thighs with my leg. With I massaged her thighs and legs. Uh, the whole time, never missing her clit with every pass of my tongue. I was built for this. And she deserved it. I took my thick finger and inserted it into her pussy. When it was ready, I added another. Now I was working her pussy hole with two fingers and fluttering my tongue on her clit with expert precision. I'm going to stop right there. This shit ain't easy to read, dog. Scrolling down my phone. All uh, good. Shout out to uh, Chris Smith from the back, bro. You out of here, bro. You weirdo. You are an imbecile. I'm not getting hard. I'm sitting here listening to him read his book. That's what we're here for, dude. What are you talking about? That we're listening to narration, fam. So, continue. Don't say stupid stuff like that, bro. No, of course I'm not getting hard. It's like you get, you got to be funny, bro. If you want to troll, be funny, bro. It's not even funny. Hey, bro, to his defense, I don't even know who that is. Bro, this type of conversation and this type of book breathes that shit. That's why I was. That's why I was hesitant. Anyway, you know, not because I'm uh, not proud of what what work I did. I'm just smart enough to know that dog. I'm setting myself up for a lot of shit. Yeah, bro. <clears throat> I mean, we are talking about a, a guy named I smash Chris Smith from the back. That's the person we're talking about. So, and, and guess what? We need these goofy motherfuckers too, man. I like that shit. Though. Only this is why I like it. Cause who need to learn from you more? People that already know this shit, or people that 
can't stop being silly long enough to do some player shit. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I, I embrace all these motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, support all those books. So we done? Y'all want some more? Because if y'all want some more, it's my turn. But if we done, just we cool. Leah said, don't waste your time, Alfie. It's a troll. Hey, y'all got to realize, I see a Tupac, man. He a Gemini. So so one minute he writing a book, next minute he getting a scrap. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, see, there are, but see, but see, baby, listen, listen to me, though. There's good trolls and there's bad trolls. Like, some trolls are, like, funny and stuff, and I let them stick around, you know? But I'm definitely not getting hard. I won't even get hard if a woman was right here. So why would I get hard off of somebody reading? Like, it don't even make no sense. Y'all want more? Okay. Let me see. Look, they digging it. Hey, bro, want more? Listen, what what y'all want now? What 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 book for, what what book y'all want now? Y'all what got finesse game? And y'all got conversations. What you want to do? Dominance King or analytical confusion? Y'all tell me which one to peel back. Yeah, there are there are some good trolls. It's some entertaining trolls like, haha, that was a good one, but you know, this ain't the case. You gotta go, you gotta go practice your trolling, bro. Go over to other channels, go over to other channels and practice trolling, and then practice getting good positive reactions or at least attention. And then when you come over here, you can do it right. But you know, or, or, or a troll, but take the game with you. Yeah, yeah don't yeah. lead the game. If you're gonna troll, take the game with you. Yeah, we can show you how to be better, period, bro. Hey, Doreen, on my side, she said, let's talk about the topic. I do want to get into the topic. Let's get into it then. Hey, do you want to get your uh your last go in and then we do All it? All right, I get my last go in right now. Yeah. Hang tight, Doreen. Mm -hmm. We're going to get there. We only, we only uh 40 minutes in. We got a whole another 40 to go. I'm happy hey. that they, I'm happy y'all enjoyed it, though. Real talk. It was something. It was something different. I, yeah. I wish we. I wish we planned for it though. Then I would have been. I would have prepared myself. I would have. No, I would. I would have been, been tipsy. It ain't fun when you just do it like that, bro. Because you put and, too much. You put too much thought into it. No, you're right. Thank you, Lottery Guru Seven, for the uh, five dollar super chat. I appreciate you, bro. All right. So look. That's, now we doing this book. Analytical confusion. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, boom, this is easy. This is an easy one. Is everyone meant to be in a relationship? Is everyone meant to be in a relationship? This is this, 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 this the teaching shit. Look, this is how you do it. <laughs> hey, you drew that, didn't you? Huh? Did you draw that? Oh, yeah, I drew it. Back it up. Yeah, there you go. I see you, bro. Is everyone meant to be in a relationship? When you hear a relationship goes by standard, what comes to mind? Tradi traditionally, life is set up by a pattern. Some agree, some disagree, but we all have heard of the picket white fence mentality or formula. Uh, you know the one, you go through school, graduate, go to college, become successful in your career, find your wife, fall in love, purchase a home in a bright picket white fence with a small dog, and you start having babies. That is the ideology of success for a lot of individuals to follow. It's like a blueprint to success from a traditional middle class standpoint. As life evolves, such as pages to smartphones, computer in your pocket, so should relationships. So if you don't follow this blueprint for success in a traditional basic middle-class family home, does that mean that you cannot find happiness in life or in a relationship? The majority conflict is life. Everything doesn't go as planned. You may succeed in all things, but have not followed the typical order of the blueprint. Adding to that, everyone finds happiness in different ways, things and value different social and tangible things. So what happens when you don't follow the rules or the blueprint? Does that mean you will not succeed? That's something to ponder on. 
There you go. And I'll show you an extra level bonus drawing too. See, there you go. That's extra level Afi right there. <laughs> extra level Afi. There we go. Where is this shit at? No, you, you, yeah, you had it up. There you go. Shout out to Lottery Google for that super chat. <clears throat> Bro, what, what it is is certain men ain't afraid to, to use all of their talents. You know what I'm saying? They're going to make sure they put everything that God blessed them with out for the world. You know what I mean? And that's something that I used to suppress because I was always on some ratchet hood shit. But as I'm getting older, I feel like I wasted some of my youth, but I'm not going to waste my older years not doing all the things that I'm capable of doing. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So that, you know, I'm glad you motivated me to write a book, dog, because now I'm going to be on one. I'm finna, I, Dirty Dirty Minds will be a series. And I got some fire ass, like, I got some ideas for some novels, some, some whole novels, dog. I'm coming, dog. I just... No, I just got my feet wet now and I'm learning. I learned what I needed to learn. So they're going to start coming out factory style. You know. Oh, so, bro, you just got me in touch with my feminine side. You know what I'm saying? I got to admit, I did have to I did have to humble myself and and, and move some of that uh, toxic masculinity to the side <laughs> and then just go in. But this was this is my thing about when people say in touch with your feminine side, right? And I was saying this to RPC last week. I always try to understand women. You know what I mean? I have always tried to put myself in anybody's shoes, a man or a woman, to try to see their perspective and where they're coming from. But what I could never do successfully is have the emotions that I watch women have. The level of concern or care or uh, anger or frustration, even the anger and frustration that women be having. I have never been that fucking mad about some of the things that I've been mad about. Because when I'm mad, I'm irritated. When I've watched women be mad to the point of evil, you know what I'm saying? Or or they love harder than me or love harder than men love. So I could never truly be, quote unquote, in touch with a feminine aside because I, I knew that I'm trying to understand them but I don't feel them. So let's say a woman telling me how she feels, I can try to understand her, but I won't be able to feel her. You feel me? Yeah, I feel you, brother. Was uh, you listening, bro? Give me the game, though, because you always got a better way of looking at shit that kind of open people's minds up from a whole nother angle. <clears throat> Yeah, bro, you get it. You get it from like, you get it from like people watching and trial and error, bro. Like I was raised by women, so I seen what they responded to early. Um, it's not the fact that I seen what they responded to early, but it's that I paid attention to what they responded to early. So I was learning from from women and learning how they do things and learning finesse before I even cared about women. So when later on in life, when women became a tangible thing and it been something that I aspired to have, um, I already had this knowledge already packed inside of me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it was already it was already packed inside of me, and I didn't even know I needed to use it. Um, just being very in tune, just like I say, women relationships. Once you once you're like in a vibe like that, you can. I mean, I'm not saying I can feel it as much as a woman, but at the same time. I've had conversations with women and I've talked to women in my family dating and whatever. And I've, and I've been able to like match um, the way they articulate their feelings with their emotion. And I've recognized these patterns. So when a woman looks a certain way, I know what that means. And when she looks a certain way and says something, I actually know what it really means, not just what comes out of her mouth. And I learned this because I'm tapped in in tune with women and how they feel and stuff. Sometimes I care. Sometimes I don't care. But I can always acknowledge to myself. You know what I'm saying? Women women sometimes need affection. They need to be, you know, they need rep sex. They need sex. They need a hug. With all these things, I learned that from dealing with women, paying attention from my own experience 
and just what people tell me and just stuff like I'm a different kind of cat, bro. Like I will, I will watch a movie just to learn. Like say for instance, New Jack City, I'll throw a movie like that on just to see manipulation tactics, just to see when the story is going on, what's the common denominator uh, for the rise of an empire and the fall. So like I pay attention to details like that. And then with women, I, 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 I'm telling you, like I said this on the video before, like I've been working in the education system for a long time. So there's a lot of women who are single and divorced. I can actually, I can actually see what the feeling of divorce looks like on the face mentally and physically. Cause I've seen it before and I pay that type of attention, bro. Like uh, anything, like, I don't know, bro. Like when I was young, I used to read the dictionary for fun just stuff like that or like i say right now my my situation i'm watching this uh show money and power so i'm watching it enjoying it but i'm also watching it seeing how they making it seeing what scenes is good seeing how the music uh vibes with the with the scenes what so it's like i pay that type of attention and and and, and from the young age so it don't have nothing to do with like chasing women i just was that kind of kid bro so i'm tuned and tapped in and I know that, and I, and I know, and I know, I'm telling you, like, just an example, like, just, and I'm just telling you, like, how, how you can benefit. Like, I watch wrestling, y'all know that, but I watch wrestling for the psychology, psychology of it. I try to predict things. I watch what happens. I look for subtle clues, like, who's going to turn on who, like, ooh, he said that little smart right there. I bet he's going to try to do, um, so it's like, when you think like, this is, this is, when you think like this, and I'm with the women, I'm, I'm totally in touch, bro. I'm, I'm totally in tune, bro. I, I, it's to the point where I'm in tune so much that I turn it off because I don't want my shit to be fucked with. Oh, but this is my question, right? Because I, I kind of, that's kind of where I'm at with it. I can, I can observe certain behaviors. It's like I'm watching fucking National Ge Geographics or something. I can see the behavior. Of a of a person, a creature, a, a woman, a man, or whatever, but I can't feel you. You know what I mean? So a good example was women would cry to me over the years. And when a woman was crying, even if I was the cause of their tears, I didn't give a fuck. Like I was literally like, I didn't even believe the cry. Like nothing about it. I'm like, whatever, bitch. Like I just I just didn't believe it. <clears throat> I, I saw my, I saw my wife one time really make me try to feel the pain that she was feeling. You feel me? Because I knew she was hurt. You know what I'm saying? So then I'm like, okay, I see some real pain right here. And, and, and even when I'm watching certain movies, if the actor does a very good convincing job of a scene, I'll get emotional then. And I know it's an act. I know it's a movie, but I just allow myself to try to empathize with the feeling that's happening. And I'm using my brain to just try to put myself in that place. You feel me? But I'm not very successful most times being in the place of those people and those feelings. It's normally in my brain, so it's normally all mental of me trying to understand something. But as far as me, because this, okay, this is a better way of saying it. Women have trouble explaining how they feel. So then how could a man say, I understand how a woman feels? They don't even understand how they feel. They can't even explain how they feel very well. You know what I mean? That's what I'm at, where I'm at with it. All right. I'm glad you raised that. Let me just, let me just uh, answer this question real quick. Uh, Afi, how many books you have left in you? Uh, I got three books left in me, so it's gonna be a total of eight. I got five out right now, four out right now. The keys is coming out, and then I got success, and then I got international conversation, and then I got educators. So I got three more books after Friday. Uh, and I got, I, huh? I got Leah over here saying, uh, I didn't know you men were able to understand that. And that's what I'm saying. I think we don't understand truly what a woman yeah, feels. I get it, bro. 
I get it. Well, I, I mean, yeah, that's why I'm different. I can't. I just I can't tell you, but I just know. That's how I'm able to feel because I know how I know when to match. I know when something's going on. Who where to match it at? Like it's. I'm telling you, bro. I'm, hey, I got a question. Could it be that I don't care? Maybe so. That's a real question because I feel like right. Maybe some of my problem is is I don't give a fuck what you you know where your head at or how you feel, and because I done got so cold to that that feeling that I don't even allow myself to go there. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why. You know what I mean? But it's I don't know, bro. Uh, my man Kent says uh, AP as a Taurus, you're stable in your emotions and slow to become emotional, but you can be that rock for a female. It's just in nature to your stable. Yeah, bro. Um, that, that, now, that I agree with because I've been saying this shit for the longest. When it comes to personality traits, when you look up a Taurus, that shit fits me so goddamn close that I, I'll just use that as my, that was my eye-opening moment. Like, that's why I'm like this because it's just in me to be like this. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Because I am caring. I am loving. I I give that with my actions, but I don't feel it with my heart. But I give love with my actions. For sure. Shout out to Nelly Nell for the super chat. He said, this is fire insight gamed up. Real talk, bro. Um, shout out to Anthony Spade. Hey, let me, let me, uh, I got a question over here, bro. Appreciate it, Anthony Spade. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to him. What, what you, what you gonna say, what? I got I got an answer from uh Michael I mean a question from Michael Wesley that I think we should touch on. He said, "How much should we this, care?" This is the RPC, you got to watch this. RPC, this is the one you're supposed to watch from the beginning. And tell him what's up for me. But listen, how much should we care, and are there any ramifications if we care, if we allow ourselves to be super in tune with a woman? Are, are there any ramifications with that? Hold on, let me let me go over there and look at the question. Um, okay. <clears throat> How much should we care and are there ramifications? How much should you care about what? The woman's emotion? It depends on your angle in life, bro. Like, are you a relationship guy? Are you trying to pimp on a chick? That's what it matters. It matters what you're trying to do with the women you deal with. Because there ain't no black or white answer. You feel me? Are you... You know what I'm saying? If you meet a chick and she has these certain certain type of values and stuff, is it because you value that because you can put it together and y'all can build? Is it, you know, that's what it matters. So it, what you care, should you care? It matters what you're trying to do with the woman you're dealing with or what is your, what, what or what, what does, she, what value does she have to you? That's for you to decide. That's not for me to like give you a, a, a yes or no answer. You just got to understand. There, there can be ramifications, but it depends on you. Hey, touch on this real quick, bro. The, the problem is that us women care too much and you men don't care enough. Not true. It, there's plenty of men that care enough and too much. You just don't be attracted to them. Wow. All these, all you women in here, that. It's, it's five to ten dudes right now that y'all can call up, whether it's your baby daddy, your ex, somebody who leaves you hearts on Facebook that you can hit up and they'll do whatever you want. But you're Ooh. not attracted to them and they don't make your pussy wet. That's the Listen, issue. You saying some real shit. And that's how I felt. Because men like me get a bad rap for being so stone cold, but then women will respond to that. Then you get men who actually are very concerning of women and they don't get the same love but doreen said sometimes women don't care either. the difference is we have been taught to act as if we do now that's the problem a lot of women really be acting like they like like they're not savages like us <laughs> like some of us savages like some of us what you got to say about that bro say the end part because you kind of went out a little bit okay my bad she was basically saying that Sometimes women don't care either. The difference is we have been taught to act as if we do. And what I was saying after that was that a lot of women are the ones convincing men that they're caring and loving and into relationships and into the, the softer shit. But truth be told, they just like some men are. 
where they just go with the flow. You know, they ain't really deep in their heart about nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to touch on that? Because I feel like a lot of men, especially in your space, definitely feel like women, they, they say one thing, and but they do another. And she's basically admitting that, that a lot of them are trained to say that they give a fuck or say that they're good girls. But the truth be told, they don't give a fuck. Right. Uh, I, I agree. It's true. But it's, it's not, see, let me break down some heavy game for y'all. It's not man or woman. It's personality types. It's not, let me repeat that. It's not man or woman. It's personality types. Just like AP says it's about me earlier. I'm a Gemini. So me being a Gemini, he doesn't know me 100%, but that's like 60 just because he knows how Gemini's move. He probably read some horse folks and he just probably knows some. Like Gemini's no, are cool. very this way, that way. You feel me? Very creative, articulate, emotional, passionate. That's all me. You know, so it's personality types because it's not all women. All women don't know how to finesse. Some women are gullible. And if you tell them anything, they believe what you say. If you, if a woman weighs 260, you tell her you fine and she hella thick, she going to believe what you say. Or they hear what they want. <laughs> yeah. So it's a, it's, it's a, it's a type. It's a personality type. It's not man or woman, bro. Just That's like, real game. This is real boss guy. I want we're, we're, let me check my chat. I, I ain't got no super chat. I'm just go ahead. No, that, that that that's real game he's spitting right there. Because it ain't it ain't about a man or a woman at the end of the day. Because somebody drop it down. This is boss game. I'm telling certain you. Certain men, there's certain men that someone would say he's he act feminine. But do we? Or are we just calling this kind of stuff feminine? And then there's certain women that we'll say act masculine. But is she? Or is she just a Taurus? Or is she just an Aquarius? Or whatever the fuck. Like maybe it's just a personality trait that makes a man behave a certain way or a woman behave a certain way. But now because of the term masculine and feminine, we have confused the fact that all women ain't gonna be feminine. And all right. men ain't gonna be masculine. Right. Just like most of the time, women who are raised in single parent homes, are a little more masculine because they've grown up in uh, defense survivor mode. You see what I'm saying? That's how come pimps look for women like that because they can pimp on them because they looking for a daddy and then you become daddy, right? So they're already looking for it. You just happen to stand up and be right there. You feel what I'm saying? They might not even look for a daddy as far as to go out and sell their body, but they still looking for a daddy because they never had one and they always chase their daddy. And then here you come. Now you're daddy. Now what you choose to tell your child to do <laughs> is up to you. Not like that, but I'm just saying. Not like you're that. Saying. You, raise, you raise a child once you once you identify that they're your child. Hey, but uh, what do you what do you think a woman does? Or what traits do women show that will make them be considered masculine? Even if you don't believe they're masculine, but what the world typically views as masculine when a woman does it. What, what type of things do women do that they get that label for? Uh, describe what men view it. I can only is I can only I can only describe what I feel as masculine. So let me let me let me do a dis a disclaimer. Because like a woman questioning me is, is masculine to me. <laughs> because it is mat no for real. It's masculine because whenever a woman questioned me, it never produces results. So it's not feminine. You want to do something so bad that you don't care about the result from it. It's 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 not a call to action. You're trying to confront me, and you know the result's gonna be bad. That's masculine. You know what I'm saying? That's what, you know, to me, you know, it's not, it's not just, it's not just if they listen or not, if they, for me, it's a vibe, you know what I'm saying? So masculine women, they talk too much, too opinionated, not <laughs> willing to let a man lead. Like a man will be like, Hey, this is the deal. And she like, no, that's not the deal. That's masculine shit. So you mean talk too much to you? Talk too much to a man. 
right? Yeah, not yeah, yeah. Not I'm not saying talk too much like vintage. I'm I know, saying, yeah, I just wanted to clear clarify it because right. So like so like boom, like say we out to dinner or something, and you got an attitude. Say say you out to dinner, the the woman. We out to dinner, and I'm talking to the women. So we out to dinner, and we out we out to dinner, and the waitress getting giving you a little shade or attitude, or I'm talking to the women now, or you think it's shade, right? So if I tell you let that shit slide, then that's it. Don't tell me, oh, well, she look, I don't care what she said. If I say that's it, it's it. And we'll bring it back up later and we'll talk. We, you're not gonna go back and forth about me and try to convince me that it's okay to check this waitress or this waiter. I, I, I made the call, I said, no, the details don't matter. So when you go oppose that, that's masculine. Because if I'm the man, you got to trust that there's a reason why I'm telling you what I'm telling you. I'll give you the details later. I don't need to tell you while we're sitting right here in front of the lady. I don't owe you that. If I make the call, let me be the quarterback, right? I'm the quarterback. This is the play. If you don't tell me, oh, I might not score a touch. Look, I'm the motherfucking quarterback. Let me run the play. I tell you why I want you to run left and over to the side later. Just do it. And then later on, oh, okay, I get it. But don't question me while the play is going on. Because if you question me while the play is going on, then we on pause. Masculine, right? As a woman, she got to know when to talk and when to sit down. Women who don't understand that, some of y'all don't. But guess what? I bet y'all single too. I bet y'all single. I bet y'all single. The two, the, 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 the two differences between a single, a single woman and a woman that's in a relationship is the single woman want to do it her way, and the woman in relationship knows that she needs to do it the man's way. When women understand that they can do it the man's way, then they become a unit. Then they become in a relationship. So what's the payoff? Is your opinion the payoff? that you telling somebody something or is the result of a committed relationship more important to you? So don't let your pride get in the way because you want to tell it how it is and be single the whole time. If you single and the relationship is what you desire, then you got to open your mind because what you've been doing does not work. What you've been doing, it does not work. It's shown you it doesn't work. So you can keep your explanation in it, but you single though. And guess what? For the people who are in relationships and they say that, oh, I run the show. Are you happy though, women? So you got you got you got a dude, and he do whatever you say. Does that make your pussy wet? No, it don't. I know it don't. You calling all the shots, but are you happy? Do you go to sleep at night saying, damn, my man is the motherfucking king? No, you don't do that. That's 1,000, man. <clears throat> but when you are uh, a man who is in touch with his feminine side, let's say, can a woman then do what you just said, which is get her pussy wet if her man walking around in his feminine side? Wait, say that again? Like when you, when you mentioned how women don't truly want to be the boss. Right. They're fighting against the nature of, you know, being submissive and, and knowing that the king of the house need to be her man or whatnot. Mm. And we know this to be true. But when we talk about the men and men that spend too much time in a feminine side or whatever, can a woman stay wet with that guy? Can a woman be attracted to a man who is showing his feminine side to her? Now, when y'all talk about having a feminine side because me and rpc like i said we was bringing this up so let's say rpc saying okay i i i'm learning to think and, and move in my feminine side right should you be showing the woman this or is this just something for you to have better insight on the woman or should you actually be showing her that you moving in that way you gotta show them bro if you don't show them what's the point of it you when you show it that's where the connection comes from 
because y'all match emotions, bro. That you don't keep it, you don't keep it to yourself. The, the, the problem is, is guys who are they they in touch with their feminine side, and the feminine side it, it it goes over the masculine side, and then they ain't in control no more. So they're in touch, they're they're in touch with their feminine side and their masculine signs, but they don't know how to control their emotions and balance the two. And that's the reason why. Some guys, I can tell a woman that I love her and I can genuinely love her, care about her, want the best for her and all of that shit. But then the next guy, option B, he can tell the woman he loves her. And when he say it, he may, he can't live and die without her. We say in the same words, it's the same gesture, but I'm in control of my emotions and he not. Shout out to Donald Wood for the super chat. He said, Oppie King to keep, keep the show rolling. This is the third one of the day, baby. Appreciate that. So that's that's how it goes, bro. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's a good a good point. Like you said, it should never it should never be more or rise above your masculine side. But in my years of experience with women, I think I never cared enough to understand them. Because I feel like you can't win any fucking way with most women. And a good example of that is, let's say I am the type that shows a little bit of uh, compassion at times. And, mm-hmm. and she's seeing this. And she might like it at that moment. But then later on, years down the road, where she ain't liking you no more, or whatever the case may be, you damned if you do, you damned if you don't with a woman. So... The things that she said she liked about me early on, which might have been being a little more compassionate or a little more in tune, she going to call me a bitch for when she don't like me no more. Right. Or I'm going to be overly masculine, never, never bending, never, uh, you know, never compromising and all that. Then she going to say I'm a bitch for that. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Women, what I notice is no matter how you behave as a man. When they're done with you, or when they, when when they are feeling something else, or they thinking about something else, you a bitch no matter what you do. So me as a man, I would rather be a bitch ass nigga who been a man the whole fucking time, who been doing what the fuck I want to do, how I want to do it, as opposed to trying to figure a woman out and trying to connect with them. It's like you gonna end up saying fuck me anyway. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, as soon as I'm not doing what you want. I'm a bitch ass nigga anyway, so I might as well die on my sword and do what I want to do the whole time. What do you think about that? I mean, it's all facts, bro. But see, the thing is, let me do another disclaimer. This is my personality. I don't, I'm not an empathetic person to pull bras. It's just who I am anyway. That's why I chose to teach because I like to nurture and help other people and make them grow so i just use it my personality to my advantage yeah but it's still there i don't turn it on because i want some ass and shit no that's I don't who you are myself when i see a homeless person i just give them a 20 dollars bill if i if i like how he asked me when if i'm smoking a cigarette and, and the cat be like hey 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 bro hey cuz can i get one of them squares no if somebody humbly asks me i'll give them four or five of them you know what i'm saying if someone, if I see somebody, they look hungry, bro, I'll be like, I ain't going to give you no money, but I'll buy you something to eat. Because you're not about to fuck off my bro on some drinking shit. If you want some alcohol, ask me straight up. Don't try to finesse me. Yeah. You know? So this is, it's just, it's me, period. Like, y'all see me. I kiss my dog on camera and shit. I'm a loving person, bro. I just don't take shit. And that's the Gemini part. I'm very loving and caring to shit, but don't fuck with me and don't try to fuck me over. Okay, look, uh, I got a cat, uh, Zuku, on my side saying vulnerability is strength. And now I understand the statement. I understand the statement. But how I feel is you got to be very selective when you show vulnerability, in yeah. my opinion. And that's what understanding and that's what understanding a woman. That's 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 why it comes together. You can't do that if you don't understand it. Okay. Bro, you think, come on, bro. You think, you do you think that a pimp is pimping hoes because he just got game and wit and that's it? If you think that, hell no, bro. It's because he understands the woman and he's in front of her emotions because he know how she feel. He know what she need to hear. 
at what time? That's what the pimp part is. That's how come they can do that. So that tell you that it can be done from right there because if I'm if I'm a guy and women are doing whatever I say and I got one here, one here and one there and I can even make them be friends and come together and shit all to appease me. You mean to tell me that uh you mean to tell me that not being in charge or in tune with a woman ain't a part of that? That's crazy, bro. You have you have to have that, bro. You can't just be scaring the shit out of your hoes like, get out here and get this money every time, bro. No, don't work like that. You got they got to that level first, and that's how come the woman trust him to to follow his leadership. You cannot you cannot have a woman do whatever you say and not be able to be in tune with her emotions. It don't work. But see, this is what I know about pimping. A, 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 a pimp has to convince a woman that her emotions is her confusion. Therefore, you need me to guide you because your emotions will misguide you. So it's been my experience with when you manipulating a woman to do those things, you got to get her to not to trust herself, but to trust you more. And trust you more than anybody and everybody. So I feel like if you get to the point where she looking at you like, well, nigga, you thinking like me. I don't think that'll work long term. I think a man need to think he need to understand a woman. But he needs to understand a woman by knowing that a woman only responds well to a man saying, bitch, you don't know what you're talking about. Listen, to me. that's my that's my experience when, when it comes to especially the pimp guy. Nah, bro. With women, like they said earlier, being vulnerable is attractive, bro. You just can't be simple. Okay. You can't I, be I, simple, actually know, I actually know what you mean. I know what you mean. Just like, bro, like cats be scared, like you never shared a tear in front of a woman. Yeah, I get the alpha boss shit. But sometimes if you shared a tear in front of a woman, y'all going to connect on another level that she didn't even know was there. Cause she never had nobody do that before or she gonna be lonely not, for you. Brain. i'm not talking about crying because maybe you don't leave but just showing emotion through something something that you're passionate about I'm telling you and, and dig this right my woman has seen me cry a thousand times okay. but it was only hold on hold on it was only watching movies but she seen me deal with death. She, she she seen me deal with other kind of really serious situations where my face didn't even change. And it ain't like I was trying to be tough when it's certain shit. It, I don't get emotional at all. When it's real life, I guess my wheels are spinning saying, OK, I can't break down because I got to I got to deal with this. I got to do something about this. So I don't break down. But when I'm watching a movie. She done, she looking at me. It's a it's a uh, it's a running joke in my house to look at me during a movie because I'm probably gonna be crying and shit. You know what I'm saying? But in my my, my woman mind, she's saying, "What kind of psychopath can't cry when he should cry, but then he can watch a bullshit ass movie and get emotion?" Now I'm not speaking for everybody. I'm speaking for myself because I'm trying to get gain from you. You always got a lot of insight, Afi. So that's what I'm trying to understand. Like even well, when we did that, this why, topic. So you so you're asking me that why is it that you can cry in front of movies and she don't look at you like a simp because you are masculine during heartbreak and death and all these situations? Correct. Or, or just or just try to help analyze what what what's going on with me. You know what I mean? Because I'm I'm curious. I'm I want to know why I don't never be giving a fuck. And, and is it what you said earlier about me being a Taurus, or is that you know I'm just trying to get some insight, bro? Well, I got the answer for you, bro. It's because your emotions aren't predictable, and that's attractive, bro, to women. That's your dope. emotions aren't predictable. You don't see like a baby cries. A baby cries, somebody comes. You know what I'm saying? Your mama dies, you cry. You know what I'm saying? 
so it's attractive because you are it's not predictable you know what i'm saying and and for the and the most important part is when y'all watch it movies and shit she probably feels the same emotion so she don't look at you bad because she feeling it too mm -hmm. if y'all watching titanic or whatever the fuck y'all watch and she y'all she y'all having a moment not just her so y'all yeah. connect you're right because she know when to look she know when to be like i know this get him you know what i'm saying hey it's doreen daughter, baby hey dig this Do doreen said so if women are smart she can finesse with her feminine energy just like those pimps do with them hoes i yeah, think that's, that's where women be that's what this book is for finesse game game for a woman that a man can appreciate game for y'all when y'all do this shit, we like it then we show y'all that we like it that's the whole point of it and we don't mind being finesse because ultimately we getting what we want what we've been wanting y'all to do operate with some finesse yep so doreen you're completely right but women but that's that's what i'm saying women they want to do it they way pride gets in the way don't let pride get in the way of a man that you truly love because you're trying to prove a point let but me say that again yeah. Don't let pride get in the way of a man that you truly love because you're trying to prove a point or because you don't feel you don't. Some women, some women, bro, they're submissive, but they don't like it because they've never been that. You see, I can get a woman to submit. That doesn't necessarily say this doesn't necessarily mean that she's just submissive. She just may be like that because of my energy. But the last cat that she had, she it didn't do it for her. You know what I'm saying? People. People are like chemicals and shit. You mix different chemicals together and you get different results. You know what I'm saying? Bro. Hold on, man. I got to get to you. Right. Like, like I say, the love languages. People are motivated different. Just like now, early, you pissed me off. But guess what? You seen that. You know whether he left. But I told him what the problem was. You see what I'm saying? I'm solution-based. Like, I didn't just yell at him at the end. I said, hey, bro. Just to let you know, you can't come in somebody's area and what's your opinion first. That's disrespectful. Bro, I don't know you. Who are you to tell me stuff? Now, if you tell me we have a relationship and I know that it's coming from somewhere, how you gonna how you gonna tell me something the first time we interact? You don't know right. me, you don't know who I am, why I'm saying it, and what the reason why I'm saying it. See, that's where people mess up. So that's what I'm saying. And I, I just dropped a bunch of fire signs in your damn chat, bro. You you did hit that on the head. Hit that on the head, bro. Um I I do want I do want men though to not misinterpret the feminine side talk. Because some some men really are simps. And they connecting that with femininity. Yeah, but so that's their problem though, bro. We can't save all these cats. I mean, Somebody they gonna let these women take them for a ride, bro. We, we can't do shit because guess what? We can give them all of this game. But then when they come across the chick that they like, you know that that shit goes out the window. All this game shit. When they get a girl who who look good, smell good, and doing the shit you like, you don't care about this red pill shit then no more. <laughs> you gonna you gonna hit us off with the she different though. Oh, you don't understand though. I'm telling you. We yeah, that's that's how they that's how they all we all don't understand. That's the line every single time. It's this one every single time. It's this one, no, it's this one. And guess what? When dudes tell me it's this one, and we run down the conversation, it's it, it's gonna be seven of the same ten things every time of why she's the one. So it's weird that she's the one, but how come all these guys are having the same experience with different ones? Do you understand? Yeah. Put some fire signs in the chat. Y'all understand what I'm saying? It's because women know how to do certain things. Character-based. Personality type. That's why. Because if it was across the board, me and you shouldn't be able to, to, to connect on what heartbreak is because we deal from two different women with two different personalities in two different places, right? But how is it that we can share the emotion, though? Because we've both been there. Because... The, um, the emotion was was grown from disappointment. That's what heartbreak is. Heartbreak is disappointment. 
And we've all experienced that. And once we, when once we experiment disappointment, the first thing that we want to do is figure out how to not experience it again. That's where the wall comes now. And you know what? I think I bypassed the uh, broken heart experience, but the disappointment I got very early. And that's what made me bypass the broken heart experience. Because I, I was awakened to what I was seeing so young that by the time I could have got my heart broke, I already knew what the game was. So I was just, it was disappointing to know that there are no women that I can just count on 100%. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that people in general are so flawed and so complex that there is no right and you know, perfect situation. But I will say this, dog, and this is the 1,000% honesty, man. The older I get, the more you do start to appreciate women for who they are and what they are. So even though you might have an understanding of them, your appreciation for them grows. I don't give a damn how frustrated you've been, how disappointed you've been, how many times your heart been broke. The older you get, the more you start appreciating women for the little things that they give you that you enjoy because like i think he ain't the type to be trying to get locked down with a wife but this dude love talking to women he love having you know females and, and interacting with women so right. just go ahead bro no and that's the thing it's my personality though no i'm not i'm not, and I'm not disagreeing with you i'm just i understand you elaborate because like i'm telling you bro matter of fact that's what I'm gonna do. My next international, I ain't made one in a mile. The international podcast is gonna be with my mama. When you get a dose of my mom, you'll get it. That's because that's my mom is smooth finesse. Like that's her too. You know what I'm saying? Like that's my personality. Like I remember one time, bro. I remember one time, me and my mother, right? We drove from um, we drove from DC to Virginia to North Carolina, where she is, right? I remember one particular time we stopped at the Greyhound station and I went to the bathroom, right? So I left her there, went to the bathroom, came out the bathroom. She had like eight people surrounding her listening to her story. So she was telling the story and had an audience. All I did was went to the bathroom. That's what I'm saying. So this is where I come from. You know what I'm saying? It's just like women. Oh, you always flirt. I had a flirtatious personality. I, I'm quick witty. If I see a girl, oh, I like you. Oh, you pretty. Like, it's just me. I don't, I can call a woman beautiful and don't want to have sex with her. I can just appreciate value and appreciate beauty. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's the personality. That's how come I be telling dudes, like I told my man, like, teach me finesse game. You got to have, like, you can't teach nobody finesse game if you don't have a finesse personality. Like, Eddie Fuse, like, I don't know if you know him, but he's like finesse. Like, AMS. AMS has game, but he doesn't have his game is a finesse. He's more in your face. See, I'm more, you see this all this hand shit. This is finesse. This is this is you know what I'm saying? You paying attention to what's going on. You know what? The reason why I, I know who AMS is, but I never watched a video. I can honestly say I've never watched a video of his. It didn't take long for me to tell, in my opinion, I already knew what he was. Like. So that's why a lot of the people in a uh, in this kind of corner of the internet, you're, I've been getting introduced to people through you, bro. It's because I would never search this kind of stuff. I would never, in my brain, I knew all this shit. So I didn't, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be looking for these type of things to entertain myself with. Mm -hmm. But it is interesting to see just how many men had the same experiences or similar experiences from all over the world that are different type of men that dated different type of women and we all saying the same shit. Right. But but I also once I start hearing some of the men that don't like women, I, I kind of made sure I picked and choose who I dealt with because I like women. I don't have a problem with people being who they are. I know who you are, so I just know how to move with you. And that's where the finesse come in. You ain't got to be abrasive. You ain't got to be a bully. You ain't got to be mad. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even then, though, see, like, he, he he's in your face and abrasive, but guess what? I got that, too. 
He, but I got this other side. I got this smooth side, but this smooth side ain't all that it is. I got this smooth finesse side, but I got the in your face style as well. I don't think you two like between the two. I don't think you two but ever see the real me. And I ain't gonna say the real me. I'm gonna say that abrasive side of me. And even if people thought that they see me a little rough, you didn't. But I don't. I can't think of one instance where you will actually see me on YouTube. Not in that way. Because it's YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel you, bro, but I'm pretty much myself. I, I, it, it's too hard for me to pretend to be somebody else. And it's you just, I, I, if, if you like me, cool. If you don't, well, cool too. Because I, like I say, I ain't got no problem meeting no friends, and I sure ain't got no problem meeting women. So if I'm not for you, guess what? I can find somebody else. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and that's every, and that's across the board. We not Brother. talking. About, we talking about jobs. We talking about uh, YouTube channels. We talking about cars. I can get another one. I know Brother. how to get shit that I want. Let me let me tell let me let me say this. The first time you brought me on a panel, which is even why I'm doing this now, you put me on with like seven <laughs> cats, huh? Mm -hmm. You no, put me said, on. With, I said thank you. That's all. You put me on with like seven cats. Wasn't nobody the same. But what I did notice is everybody that was on that first panel I was on was all doing them. They was all being they self. Whether we agreed or disagreed, I didn't see nobody trying to be something they wasn't. Oh, that was so refreshing that that what got me all hype about getting online and getting to introduce myself and meet new people. Because I'm really not like that. I really like to be enclosed in my own little space. But now I'm realizing that real come in so many different forms. So a lot of people that want to judge or or pick apart people for not being the way you want them to be, you got to realize you ain't perfect either. Like they, people might see flaws in me that they would never do something I did or said. But when somebody overall is being who they are, you got to respect that shit. That's why anytime I disagree with you or anybody else we talk with, I don't care that we disagree on a point, but ever since I met y'all, y'all haven't flipped flip flop. I see y'all be the same cats since I first got acquainted with y'all. But let me ask you this question for Doreen. That's gonna be a good a good topic to touch on. Do you think women appreciate men more as they get older? Because I said us men start to appreciate women more. Do you think women appreciate men more as they get older? We actually, women, you need to answer that question. Any women in the chat, answer for us. As women get older, do y'all start to appreciate men more? But give me your give me your answer if you can. This is where I was at with it, bro. Hold on, let me say that something, Blackjack. I, I, I'm thinking this is somebody else. Cause you speaking on that. How you know about that car? I, <laughs> I, I, I thought black. I'm thinking black jab is somebody that know me now for real. Cause I don't know why you say that. I'm thinking of. I don't know. Hold on. Wait. What you say? Ask, that threw me off. What you what you asked me again? Uh, it's a question that Doreen asked, but really I asked these women to elaborate better. Do you oh, think women that. appreciate men more as they get older? Because I said men, we start to appreciate women more older. But do you think women do the same for men? But I think that's a better question for women to answer. But if you got a, a, a want to touch on it real quick, go ahead. Do I think women appreciate more as more men more as they get older? Yeah, the smart ones do. AKA Sierra and women like that because, because they realize that they way wasn't working and that, that at the end of the day, they want stability in a relationship. So they had to, we had, they had to, they had to, uh, they had to humble themselves a little bit for this outcome. You see Tisha what I'm saying? Tisha made the point. could have been stupid and, and kept going after rapper type dudes and getting new bodies and by herself every single time. You see what I'm saying? But she's smart enough to figure out, okay, this ain't working. So how can I obtain my goal, which is having a man or family and say, okay, I got to submit a little bit. 
So she figured it out. But some women, they don't, they don't figure it out. They want to keep doing it their way. And the, and the way don't work. And but then, at, at the same time, real quick, women, you got to understand that you got to understand your man. You got to understand your man. If you a chick in this chat, say, and you choosing up on me and you choosing up on AP, it's two different programs that's being ran right here. AP will want to knock your shit down every day. I might not want to knock your shit down every three weeks. So it's a totally different thing. So you got to know the person you dealing with. You don't just think just because I smashed 100, 200, 1,000 women that I know every single chick because I don't. But I do know patterns and I do know cues. You see what I'm saying? I do understand that. And I, so, and I do understand when, when, when women say certain things, what it really means. So that's what I feel. That was a good answer. The women I got, uh, Tisha said, I appreciate them more as they evolve and grow out of childish ways. Leah said, the good men, yes. So, uh, but this is this, this the little caveat, though. They may appreciate it more, but that don't mean they still don't have a, 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 a taste for the, for, for the, for the numb skulls, you know what I'm saying? It's like when a woman got a real good career or job, she she tightens up her act Monday through Friday as she does her work. But on Friday, she lets her hair down. So like a woman like Sierra, she may be tightening up her act, you know, and, and, but she still want to let her hair down there once in a while. That's what I believe. Yeah, but she's smart enough not to. And that's the fucking thing. Being smart enough not to. Good I know point. I know a lot of shit that I could do, but I know I'm smart enough not to. Good point. Why? Because the result ain't ain't ain't, be ain't benefit me. The result got to benefit me in order for me to entertain it. Correct. You feel me? No, I and get it. I totally get it. You cats and you ladies too. Even stuff, even the stuff that I choose to entertain, it's the reason why I choose to entertain it. You just don't know, but it ain't for you to know. It's for me to know, and for my result to know. That's the difference. I can dig it, brother. How you doing over there on your side? I'm chilling, bro. I'm telling you, I don't really, I don't never run out of gas, bro. I'm chilling. I got a consultation still. You feel me? Like this shit don't stop. See, I ain't out of gas, but I, you know, I, I don't never try to go too long. But I'm What's down with I'm two hours is like the average. Okay. Hey, so so look, right? If uh, if a man. If a man gains this better understanding of women, give me some examples of some of the ways he can practically use that to get his way or to make his life better. You said, what are the ways? Like, like if a man like uh, like gains a, a really good understanding of women and able to you know relate, like what's some of the ways he can then take that and use it? to create a better atmosphere with his women or a better situation with women or whatever. You got to, you got to, you got, first off, you got to understand the woman you're dealing with. That's the first thing, you know, just like I'm an articulate guy, right? I'm an artsy dude. So some women like that about me. Some women are attracted to the point to the fact that I don't give zero fucks. Some women are attracted to the fact that I'm caring. It's, it's all, it's all different. What you had, what you asked me? My dog started looking at me, licking his chops. I just looked and he was popped up right there. What was the beginning again? I just hate reheat me. About, I got a good answer for you. Just reheat it real quick. About uh, like once you once you get oh, into like, this, got you. Yeah. oh, what's up? Boom. Okay, so like ways to do it, bro. It's it's hella simple. Look. This shit is hella simple, bro. The problem why, the reason why you can't do it is because you want sex too bad and you want sex more than you want respect and you want sex more than cooperation and you want sex more than anything else. That's the reason why. Because all you got to do is talk to your woman. 
That's the problem. Guys want sex too bad, so what they do is they spend all their time saying how great they is to the woman, and the woman is just taking it all in like this and shit. Like, goddamn, it's like hot breath. That's all that's happening. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? You talk to your woman and you listen to her, but you gotta know the right shit to ask too. So it's not all given like that, but you ask questions to make a woman think. Quit just telling her what your stuff is, and you and you and you do is you ask her questions, but you ask her questions like, "What do you want to eat? What do you want to do?" That's the issue. You gotta dig a little deep. It's not even real game, though. It's just real boss game because you should want to know these things for yourself, not just to manipulate her or to do all these things and have sex with her. You should want to know the person who you're spending your time with. You should want to know how she responds, what type of things she likes, how she's, what's her triggers, how she reacts to certain things. You want to know, you, 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 I mean, you shouldn't, you have to know these things, but if you don't know, you, you don't know what you're missing out on until you do know. You see what I'm saying? I believe you described what a, what a game or internal love is. My soulmate, I being belief that there's one person in the world or a lifetime that you can intimately love. That's true. My mom is my soulmate. I already found her. We connected. And she and we, me and my mother connected, and she told me how to connect. Because she got boss finesse game too. Men are simple. Women like dead peeps because they provide more emotional spikes. Good guys are nice on paper, but don't provide the roller coaster women won't. Facts. So there's lack of standing on principles. That's what I got on my side. What you got? Uh, nothing on that top, that last point. But uh, what you were saying about like as, asking the extra questions and getting to know who you're dealing with, that would have saved me trouble when you end up with a kid with somebody. When you end up too far involved with somebody. Bro, you know, you go ahead. Bro, it be dudes who I talk to who don't even know the woman had kids till they hang out. So that tell me what the, where the conversation is at. Or how, that shows you, that shows you woman, how do you talk to a woman and that don't come across the table? That shows you what you're concerned about. You don't care. And thanks for making my point. That's why I brought yeah, it up. I, I agree. I agree yeah. with your point. I'm yeah. I, I, I am guilty of not caring, and and because you don't care, you gonna care later when you find out more about that mother. That's a fact. You gonna care later. So you might as well get all the information you can while you can, because later on, you're going to wish you got way more information. Mm -hmm. Real talk, brother. I'm just going back and forth with these chats. Yeah, it's all good. I ain't got a whole lot of action. But uh, Doreen did say uh, women, uh, when they get older, in other words, they... They have physical desire for younger men, but mental appreciation for older men. So you mean man physically desire a, a younger man, but mentally appreciate again personal personality type. Some women don't care about you. Know, some women don't care if the man's intellectual and turns the mind turns them on mentally. Women that I like do because that's what I'm attracted to, and those are the women who I entertain. But some women just want to do with some muscles telling them to shut the hell up every day. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Some women want that. But you got to figure out what, what kind of woman that you are, you know what I'm saying, and what you deal with. But I really realized, bro, and I know this is just random for this conversation. Women be wanting both of that shit. Yeah, and that's and that yeah, they do. And that's why you don't why. Exactly. So why choose? Why not be both? That's it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, AP. Thank you for the excellent job right there. We, yeah. we would, exactly. 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 Put a fire sign on my chat. You can't win this debate. It's over now. Now we just got a freestyle because you just oh. clarified it to me. Oh, I'm about to win right now because I got one more to add. Both. Ready? Why pick? Yeah, go. And, and, and women, please tell the truth. Well, what I'm about to say, and, and and if I'm wrong, just say I'm wrong. Then Afi wins. If a man that you know has both, he has this dominating masculine side, and he also has this concerning, compassionate 
feminine side. And you love that about him. Am I wrong to say that you could still fall for a whole nother man that has either one or the other or both himself? Because even though this one man you got portrays both things that you enjoy and love, over time, you're going to want to experience those things from a whole new nigga. So if I'm wrong, please tell me I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, then I think you are the king. And that's why they call you that, my brother. But if I'm correct on this particular matter, then I'm just saying what I said earlier, that you damned if you do, you damned if you don't. Whether you act like a feminine man or a masculine man, women are going to pick and choose and they're going to switch their feelings and they're going to change their mind and they're going to uh, fall for this guy, fall for that guy. It's just you can't win, in my opinion. But let's see what these women say, because I'm curious now. Women, speak up. Let's hear it. And, and don't just hit no fire signs. Give, give us the point. <laughs> give us the point. Think about it. Because I'm curious. Because guess what? I didn't come on here thinking I know what I'm talking about. I came on here to learn. Because you're smart. <laughs> it's called theorizing. I have theory. What the woman saying? Say it in the chat. Is AP right or is he wrong? Look, y'all getting extra quiet, ladies. Still my friend, if you tell me I'm wrong. Okay, McCain said nope, not wrong, AP. Or oh, he agree. Or oh, oh, that, that my bad. That ain't a lady. I guess it's safe to say that the soulmate idea can only be true within the parameters of blood relation. They talking to each other. The feminine side is powerful to use only if you had a masculine down first. My main chick is highly attracted to my mental problems because she sees me as super dominant and makes I got, me my man. I got, I got one lady saying messes up. If he has both and he's faithful, I'm not going to fall for it, uh, someone else. I might have a desire but won't act on it. Okay, I respect that and I believe you. And Tisha said, I like a masculine man overall, but like when he's in touch with his feminine energy. That ain't answering our question, Tisha. And then uh, Doreen said, no, one is faithful, but they may not act on these desires. Okay, so so Leah and Doreen are saying the same thing, that when they have both, they may have desires for other men, but they keep it to themselves because they feel like that they have everything they're looking for. But you know what I really believe, Afi? I believe they have a unicorn and they know they have a unicorn. So they scared as shit to lose that unicorn. That's facts. Oh. That go to my uh, video I made years ago saying the three mm -hmm. types of faithful women. And I said that all three of them have to be afraid. Mm -hmm. Either afraid of the higher power, afraid of getting an ass whooping, or afraid of losing the only man that's going to ever treat them that. Mm -hmm. But it's still you still you still the champ, bro. You definitely was on point. If you can if you can hit a woman with these things that they're looking for, and which, which is I think Leah said earlier, where uh, she wants a man to be. I forgot her words. I don't want to put them in her mouth, but basically, be more understanding of women. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you want me to answer the question too? Go ahead if you want. Uh, so basically the question is if a woman meets a man who's in touch with his feminine side and his, his masculine side, uh, will she be faithful or can she be committed? Is that what it is? If, if, if she had both, I'm saying. If they got both? If a guy got both, uh, will she desire both from a whole nother person? Uh, Yeah. She's still going to desire from other people because, because we're two people. And when you are dealing with two separate people, emotions change, bro. So it's just like your girl, your wife, excuse me. She's hot to you, but certain days she may be hotter to, to you than other days. She's still Correct. hot, but certain days you're into her more. Your, your emotions fluctuate. So yeah, just because I'm in touch with my feminine side and my alpha side too, doesn't make me the perfect man because I gotta still be in tune with her shit. Exactly. That's just the that's just the part that get her pussy wet. But if I piss her off, 
then that don't matter no more. You know what I'm or, saying? If she tells me I come home at three and I come home at ten, me being masculine and alpha and touch with my family, it don't matter because the emotion change. But bro, hold on, my dog going crazy. Hey, but listen, this is what I, this is what I'm saying, right? And, and women, women, and men, y'all finna back me up on this. Fuck that. I was gonna let them have this. Y'all can say that all y'all want. But y'all all got a certain man in y'all head, whether he an actor or a famous guy or a dude down the goddamn street that you giving that pussy to, regardless if your man at home, the perfect philosopher and man at the house, y'all all fall victim to that one ball. And guess what? Ask Drake. Let's ask Drake if 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 he can fuck your woman, your mama, your grandma, your your daughter. <laughs> All of them gonna give it up, even if they got that uh, miracle man at the crib. It, that that's only that's only accurate because it's a desire and it's a novelty at that time. I can, I can I can have sex with Beyonce. And it'll be cool and it'll be life changing and all of that. But if I'm having sex with Beyonce every week, I'm just having sex with this rich, light skinned chick who live in Texas. I get that. So it wears off. It don't. It don't just stay there. Emotions change. Like the like I say earlier, relationships have no equity. It isn't how we feel about each other now. It doesn't stay. Certain things got to happen. Hey, Tisha said not true, but then laughed at it. So this this my hold on. This is my point, right? Let's say a woman got this super nigga at the house where he where he faithful, he's a uh, he's in touch with his masculine and feminine side. Then all of a sudden she get an opportunity to smash Drake. Now let's say Drake was just a novelty fuck, but he actually act like he like her. He actually texts her the next day. He actually tells her next time I'm in town I want to see you. 99.9% .9 of women is going to be going every single time that nigga come around. Mm -hmm. If I'm wrong, then my whole life was a fucking lie. It's all about timing, too. Because on one day, Drake might couldn't hit. But on, on another day, he could hit. It, it depends on the woman. It depends on what kind of outcome the woman wants. Some women had a mindset like, I can get away with it. You only live once, and some women feel like, I, if I do this, I won't be able to sit in front of my man with a straight face, and it's not worth it. it I ain't depends, meet her oh, yet, huh? I didn't meet that lady yet. Yeah, it depends on the timing of it. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, just like you, not like that, but I'm saying, you know, there's certain but, days you'd be like, I'll never, and then certain days you get pissed off, then you'd be like, oh. You know what I'm saying? It's it's the same. It's the same. Me. Huh? Don't put me in a room with the wrong motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you do it. That's why I talk. What I tell you when I said I travel, I said I'm bringing my wife with me. You hear me? Say that again. I, you remember I told you when I travel, I'm bringing my wife with me, right? You said you travel when you bring. Oh yeah, so you so you won't slip up. Exactly. But see, you know yourself, though. That's the main point. It's not because of your wife. It's because you know you. You got you, you your self mastery. So that's so so you so so that means you game tight because your pride. You, you're not going to do it anyway because you know that that's that's a weak spot. I need a chaperone right there. I need somebody to be right there to kind of check my behavior because if I get somewhere and I get a little loose, some shit might pop. So you know but, yourself, so you're not going to put yourself in that position. But I've seen crazy women, and this ain't all women, but I just want to, for the fun of the conversation, I want to say I've seen crazy women like try to not shave their legs or, or wear some fucked up panties just so they don't go. But then get really drunk, having a good time, and out with strangers. So she tell a stranger, I give you some head, though. She's still trying to save face and not show them raggedy-ass panties that was supposed to keep her from cheating. But now she bossing the nigga up. What? I've been around some boss-ass niggas, man. And I've seen a lot of women fall victim to being starstruck. 
by local niggas. Yeah, me too. I feel it. I feel it. But just it's it's about timing and stuff too, though, bro. That's 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 like seventy percent of it. You know, what I'm I mean? definitely not saying you wrong. I'm just trying to find find some antagonizing fun in this yeah. in this conversation. Yeah, it's uh, you know, like I say, me, I have my weak moments. I have a, I you know, I can have a weak moment. I, if I just went through a breakup. And I meet a bad chick, I don't care. I'm I'm not entertaining women, you know what I'm saying? Because this one then did some weak shit and I'm cool for a minute. There ain't nothing. Hey, hold on, there. look, hold on. I didn't even peep game on my side. But Doreen gonna say I throw it all away for Idris Alba. That's what most women gotta most women gotta do. I don't give a fuck who it is, they gotta do that they don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. And Doreen said, I'm jaded. I don't know how. I never gave a fuck. How do I get jaded? Said, matter of fact, matter of fact, I looked at a cheating woman like me and my uh, ex back in the day, right? This is my uh, first wife when we was real young. We got married because of religious beliefs. Me and her both got to cheating like crazy. We were so, we were so not giving a fuck that we would damn near be getting prepared in the same house to go be on bullshit in two different sides of the city city then come back home together and smoke a b and kick it like ain't shit happened even though we both knew the other one was on bullshit because we knew we didn't want each other like that so we just like i don't know i can't explain it bro i've been a weirdo for a long time i, I like i like Pete rock he says we're not biologically built for monogamy we're not it's a learned behavior yeah you 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 have i don't want to say you have to make yourself do it but you have to uh what's the word i'm looking for you gotta um you gotta commit to it C a commit see people see this is this is the thing bro people don't know their words people look people think commitment means faithful no commitment means i'm doing this particular thing and i'm going to stick with it that's commitment when you make a commitment to the gym that means you go into the gym every single day it don't matter if it's raining or snowing you commit to it see but people look at commitment as i'm faithful i'm in a committed relationship no you're just faithful because you're not you're just because we in a relationship and we're and we're not cheating on each other that doesn't mean we're committed we're just faithful to each other because stuff that you that, that stuff that you care about i don't care about and we live like two separate lives we just happen to be the only one two that we have sex with each other and shit. but we don't i got my own career and she got her own career we don't, there's nothing intertwined you hey know bro I mean? look look i want to address uh doreen because because after i said my story about my ex-wife she said but you're not jaded though as if as if me telling you that we was both doing bullshit was a uh some type of a trauma trust me i'm one of them niggas that i be looking for a woman to give me a pass to get the fuck out here and wild out so so i'll look at some let's say somebody pull my bitch that's a celebration to a nigga like me it's like i'm like pop then you know what i'm saying I don't bail fresh out of jail, California skin. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like I'm, I feel like screaming. <laughs> Come on, from I, open, bro. I know bro, I, I feel like I, I feel like good. Cause now, now you can't say it was my fault. Cause I'm about to be out here. Cause I normally was getting in relationships that I didn't want to be in. So when a woman would fuck up, which I wouldn't even know, but I would normally was getting caught. But let's let's just say if a woman showed me that I ain't the only bad guy. I used to be happy, like shit, good. Now you can't act like I ain't complete shit. You know what I mean? We both ain't shit. Now let's smoke this blunt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I don't know how that is jaded. And if it is, then just explain it to me. But emotionally, I was never connected to a woman where losing her ever would affect me. Now, if I am jaded, I'm jaded from being 10 years old and all the little girls in the neighborhood that I wanted to fill on, wanted to fill on the boys that was 12 and 13. Now that jaded me, cause I was 10 and I wanted to play with some little pussy too, but they wanted to play with the older niggas. 
You feel me? That might have jaded me, but it didn't come as an adult. Uh, let me let me address Mr. DC Comics. I see you, brother. They having a a little debate a debate on my side. Uh, so let me just clarify this shit to you real fast, bro. He's talking to Cornell, but I'm gonna just take on the question because because uh, y'all going back and forth. I'm gonna just stick a fork in this shit for you real quick. All right, and, and let's wrap have, let's wrap it up too, bro. All right. Says, he says a guy can have strong energy, but she she sees through that and thinks you're trying to be somebody you're not. That's the problem, Mr. DC Comics, is because men think that being masculine, see, they think they have a vision of what it looks like. It's not what it looks like. You have to be the masculine, the most masculine version of you. My version of masculine, me and B and AP are both, me and AP are both masculine. We don't act shit alike. Mm -hmm. We don't look the same. We don't talk the same. Our voice ain't the same. Our, our, our love language ain't the same. Our living situation ain't the same. Our relationship status ain't the same. But we're still both alpha dudes. So you have to be the alpha version of you. Being alpha does not mean get a six pack, big guns, and a tank top, a hat on to the back, and some Jordans. Hey, you're making a good point, but I want to add this too because I know people need to hear this. I can tell you not alpha when I see you switching up all the fucking time. If you if you who you say you are, alpha, be motherfucking yourself every day, all day, the same fucking you. Now that don't mean you don't have a variety of ways to manipulate different scenarios. But Alfie been Alfie every fucking time I talk to him, whether we on camera or not. That's some man shit to me. But some of you cats act a whole lot different depending on the company you in. That's not man shit to me. That's fine. So I just want to put that in there. All right, DC, DC Comics. All right, that'll be $5 right there. I saved your life. <laughs> So there you go. Let me see your side. <laughs> he said, if she breathes, born on her birthday, has a post. She belongs to the streets. Don't waste your time with these Jezebel. Love yourself more. I, let me, let me. I don't agree. Let me break that up. <laughs> go ahead. Keep, keep the love yourself shit more. Keep the love yourself more. Keep that and subtract the rest of that shit, bro. Because Correct. What I'm telling you is this. You see, I see me. I like I said, I love chicks. But I'm not into the girlfriend, boyfriend, marriage shit. But when you have that kind of energy, bro, that you're never gonna, you're never going to. That's why they Jezebels, like, bro, like my man is married and he happily married. Like that vibe right there, that is gonna give you negative experiences. And, so, and get, guess what, Dave? You, get, you don't hold on. You don't just say don't waste your time with women. Just find women that are good for you, bro. You don't. And get, my fault. And guess what, bro? Because we we talk about a lot of the shit that women do, we forget to tell y'all that there are women who are looking for men that can get them to be their better version. We all got a good side to us and a bad side to us. If you walk in a certain way, people are gonna they're gonna move off of who you are. Like one one dude might look at me as a, a a stone cold robber and a thief and and with a man with no no loyalty or morals, and another man to say, "Oh, that's the realest nigga I ever met. He'll never do nothing to me." And there's women that'll look at you and say, "I'm gonna walk all over this lane," but that same woman will be the most loyal motherfucker for the right dude. Yeah. So you just gotta find your right one who is going to. Be who you need her to be for you. But that requires you to become your real self. Like Afi was saying, you can't be a version of what you think a man's supposed to be. You need to become a man through your life, your life journey. And once you become a man, you're going to radiate in the, the type of woman that's going to find you or not find you. But the type of woman that's going to be that good woman for you is going to be because you found out who you really are. You get what I'm saying? A lot of y'all done picked women that you thought you wanted. And you pick women that are never going to see you in the way that you need them to see you. Mm -hmm. But when you finally find a woman, like my wife, for example, she thinks she think I'm better than I think I am. 
<laughs> you know, she look at me like I'm a, you know, she, you know what I mean? So, so it just happens that way. You feel me? So you don't, don't have that, don't have that defeatist attitude when it comes to women, no, regardless how the fuck they act, bro. Right. Shout and guess to- what? You don't want to live your whole life without no pussy, man. Now, I don't. Shout out to DC DC Comics for the five dollar super chat. See that? See now you telling me you mean business. So that's is what this is what I'm telling you. So like for instance, if you were to hit me up on Instagram with some advice, because it's not the fact that you super chatted, but you super chatted behind the value that I gave you for your particular question. That's that's my love language that you speaking to me. So if you were to hit me up, I wouldn't leave your shit on red because I'm like Mr. D, DC Comics, show love, and he follows through. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you guys, you, you say shit, but you don't follow through with what you say. I know I follow through with what I say because I'm too particular not to. It'll drive me crazy if I don't. You know what I'm saying? All right. Back. So, man, you know, I, I, we wrapping it up. Let's see. Say our last words. Yeah, we can. All right. Um, here, I go first. Hold on. Let's Let, let me see what David said. I haven't dated yet, but it's hard finding one and where I can live happy and grow together. Most want to do nothing but smoke a party. Guess what? See, look at this. Now, you correct me if I'm wrong, David, but what I just said made you think because your whole energy changed from that comment to that comment. It's a whole different energy, bro. Put a fire sign in the chat. The, it, it just shifted. Just just put planting that seed just like that. It just made your shift shift. That me reading that is different energy. Like I feel you. You dated, and the chicks like the smoke and party and stuff. But you just thought about it, and, and your vibe changed. And David, let me let me tell you this, because this is why on my channel I always stress that you shouldn't take no woman serious till you over thirty, because you haven't dated yet. I'm assuming you're young. The women you're dealing with are young. They're supposed to be partying and, and smoking. Let them fucking grow up. And you go grow up. And then when you become a man and they become women, you pick the best woman you can find. Out of the women that have chosen you. Out of the women that have found interest in you. Let a woman choose you and then you choose out of the women that have chosen you. But you can't do that while they're still girls. You can't do that while you're still a boy. Become a man. Find out who that man is and stand on that. But don't get defeated now when you're looking at girls as if grown women act like girls. Grown men don't act like boys. We all come to a place in life where we're realized, where we understand our life, where we have real goals and dreams, where we have uh, learned enough about life to where we become better versions of ourselves. So don't look at women at their lowest self. Even some of the older women you're seeing, some of those women got snatched up too young and you're watching them relive their childhood in their older years. That's why you're watching 30, 40 year old women act like whores. Mm -hmm. Because she didn't get to grow up yet. But there are some women who did grow up, who reach about 30 years old, 35 years old, and they actually have the mindset and the willingness to be a good woman for a good man. So those don't get discouraged, bro. Yeah, don't don't be discouraged. Let me let me just say, like, <clears throat> if I if I'm single, trust and believe, I can get a girlfriend whenever I want to. But guess what? That's not my form of happiness. That's why. Now, am I saying I can't be happy with the woman? No, I'm not saying that. I can be happy with a woman. But if I'm with a woman and my goal's not being accomplished and I'm not successful, then I'm not going to be happy as me. And if I'm not happy as me, I can't make my woman happy. Not consistently. I might be able to buy her some shit here and there and, and knock it down, fire, you know what I'm saying, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, but it's the band that it's not going to last. So I got to be happy in order to give her that energy. You know what I'm saying? Because if I'm feeling if I'm feeling some kind of way, unless she's a strong woman, she may not be a strong enough woman to bring me out of my depression and shit like that. You see what I'm saying? It took a certain type of woman to deal with certain type of man. And that's how come when y'all see, man, why he fuck with her? She ain't even all that bad. It's that type of shit. 
This is whip. Put some money on the super chats and cash apps on me and AP because we giving y'all fire wisdom. This is not fucking extra level game. This is wisdom. This is shit that can tweak your whole shit, man. Don't y'all know that? I know this shit entertaining as fuck, but I'm telling you, bro, this is serious shit. You need to be writing this shit down, man. Because because y'all know us from YouTube and we not famous. If if Grant Cardone and Gary V had this same motherfucking conversation, y'all be like, "This is the best shit ever!" Oh my god, how did you? But it's because it's us. It's regular shit. No, nigga, this is real fucking boss game. This is wisdom. Yeah, yeah. This is shit that can help you out. And guess what? You are a regular motherfucker. So huh? Grant, Grant Cardone can't help you. Like I, for the people that's listening, Grant, Grant Cardone can't help you because you don't live a Grant Cardone kind of life. But people that get up and, and, and put their put their shoes on and go to work and do this and do that, we can help you because we are you, but we're doing it in a more successful way based on the information we've been gathering. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And again, don't hold on to every detailed word that we say. We're speaking generally. So if I say something, you know, wait till you you in your thirties to take a woman serious. That might mean thirty nine. That might mean 45. I'm just I'm telling you, if you under 30, don't I'm even waste your fucking time being serious. Any of y'all, men or women. That's what I'm saying. As you get older, you will understand. By the time you 30, you will understand what I'm saying. Uh, bro, let's, let's wrap it though, because I, I ain't gonna lie. It's gonna make me a big ass milkshake. All right, man. Well, I'm glad y'all came, especially let me just do a shout out to my side, a special shout out to you guys, because I gave y'all three hours earlier today. So it's like y'all got y'all fixed and some of y'all came back. So that means to tell me that some of you guys, like shout out to Evo, Nelly, Christian Soto, not only were you just here for this fire drop, you'd have been listening to my ass talk for five plus hours just today just today so man i appreciate you guys for real man because yeah we gotta be spending some fire to be keeping that type of shit. it ain't like I, i'm telling you bro it ain't like i just went live earlier i gave three hours bro and y'all still here that's love man i appreciate that follow it and for your side follow me api kingdom uh podcast on youtube and also follow me on instagram at dominance mindset and raw game hit the bell i go live every morning at 7 8 30 8 30 a.m every morning all right and, and cop those books too those three and this one that's it and, and for y'all that don't know player for life is a channel you will want to be subscribed to i got a lot of short videos that are really make you think don't always watch these lives look at some of these smaller drops where we get straight to the point you understand? I rewatch some time and learn from my damn self. And that's a real fact. So I just say, make sure y'all subscribe to both channels. Mm -hmm. uh, Hit the bell. Woman, yeah, any woman in the chat, don't, for go, don't forget to go get Dirty Dirty Minds. You heard a bit of it. Do, listen to the playback if you came in late where we read some excerpts from our books. But make sure you support Nafi and his writing. Because I ain't gonna lie, I got a uh, I got a few of his books now, and I will be getting a new one that's gonna drop. Because okay. my sons, my, my sons can read these books. My daughters can read these books. And so even though I bought it, that don't mean I can't use these books to bless people that I know. So keep that in mind. These books are are meant for people's growth, not just yours. You may feel like you don't need it, but you know somebody who does. So right. other than that. Love everybody that showed up. Appreciate everybody. In the I said doing super chat too, Blackjack. I see you, bro. Follow me on the ground. And, and thank you, Mickey C. We up out of here, though. Peace out. Peace. Drop a comment. Oh shit! I, I got to. I forgot. I got to end my shit too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here. Here. Yeah. I forgot. I'm, I'm live too. My bad.